hello students welcome back to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to start chapter 1 from mechanics of materials by rc himmler this is the first problem and the problem says that the shaft is supported by a smooth thrust bearing at b and a general bearing at c determine the resultant internal loadings acting on the cross section at e so we are given um, this shaft which is supported by the by the thrust bearing at b and the general bearing at c so the thrust bearing can support can provide uh, support in both the x and y in two directions along the shaft and in the vertical direction so we we will have bx reaction and we will have by reaction and at C, we will have CX reaction. The general bearing can only provide the support in the vertical direction. So we will have CY reaction here. So we are asked to determine the internal loadings at the cross section of the shaft at point E, which is the midpoint of the whole shaft. So for that, we, we have to find uh, the support reaction at C, since to find the internal loadings, we have to we have to cut this shaft at E in order to expose the cross section and to do that uh, to find the internal loadings I'm, I'm going to consider this side of the shaft uh, so if you guys if you guys are considering this side for finding the internal loadings then we must find the reaction at point C we must find CY so for that to find CY we will consider the whole shaft um, the whole shaft and we'll apply the equilibrium conditions to find CY so for that we will have CY reaction here this is our CY and at B we will have two reactions we will have BX and we will have BY so we are only interested in CX since uh, we want to consider this side of the uh, cut section so in order to find CY we have to apply the sum of the moments about point B that must be equals to zero the counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive now as you guys can see that BX and BY they are passing through this point B they are not going to produce the moment about point B and the CY is producing uh, the moment about point B in the counterclockwise direction. So counterclockwise moment is positive. So we will say plus CY and the perpendicular distance of CY from that point B is this distance which is 4 plus 4 which is 8 feet. So multiply by 8 and then this 800 pound force is producing the clockwise moment. So we will say minus 800 and the moment arm of this 800 pound force from that point B is this distance which is 12 feet so multiply by 12 and this 400 pound force is producing uh, the counterclockwise moment about point B so this is again plus so 400 and the perpendicular distance of this 400 pound force from that point B is this distance which is 4 feet so multiply by 4 and this is equal to 0 so now from this we can say that CY is equal to 800 into 12 minus 400 into 4 divided by 8. So this is 800 into 12 minus 400 into 4 divided by 8. So this is 1000, right? So CY is equal to 1000 pounds. So this is CY. Now once we find the support reaction at C, then we have to cut the shaft, right? So at E we will cut the shaft. So so now I'm going to cut the shaft and consider the right side of the cut section, right? So we will pass a cut section, imaginary cut section at point E, and then we will consider this side. So for that, let me cut this. So we will have this is the free body diagram and if you guys wa want to fire if you guys want to draw the free body diagram then the shaft will be the shaft will be replaced by only just a line 
and just show the HCY and just show the 800 pound force. So this will be the free body diagram. So at C we have CY. So and since we want to find the internal loading, so at E we will have the shear force. Um, resultant shear force which is let's say VE we will have the normal internal loading let's say NE and we will have the bending moment so let's say this is the bending moment which is in the the assumed direction is clockwise so we want to find VE ME N and E so now to find VE uh, to find these three unknowns we have to apply the equilibrium conditions so for VE let's apply the sum of the forces in the Y that must be equals to zero upward direction is considered to be positive now ve is in the upward direction which is in the positive y so you write plus ve and cy is in the up upward direction so plus cy which is thousand pounds and 800 pound force is acting in the downward direction so it's minus so minus 800 this is equals to zero so now ve is equal to minus thousand plus 800 which is equal to minus 200 minus 200 pound so this means that if if ve is minus 200 pound this means that the assumed direction is not right the internal uh, shear force at point e is in the downward direction similarly if we apply the sum of the forces in the y uh, in the x that must be equal to zero as well towards the right is our positive x direction so only an E is in the X direction and there is no other force in the X. So this means that an E is minus an E is equal to zero or we can say that an E is equal to zero. So there is no normal internal force at the cross section of the shaft at point E. Now to find ME we have to apply the the sum of the moment about point E. So the sum of the moment about point E, this must be equal to zero. The counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive. Now ME is clockwise, so we will write minus ME. VE, and, uh, VE is passing through point E, it's not going to produce the moment. CY is producing the moment about point E, it's in the clockwise direction. So um, it's in the counterclockwise direction, so we will write plus CY is thousand and the perpendicular distance of cy from that point e is four feet so multiply by four and this 800 pound force is producing the clockwise moment about point e and the perpendicular distance is eight feet so minus 800 into eight this is equal to zero so from this we can say that me is equal to thousand if I bring this minus me to the other side of equation, so me will be equal to this same thing. So 1000 into 4 minus 800 into 8. So let's find this. This is minus 2400. So me is equal to minus 2400. And this will be in pound feet. So again, the minus sign tells us that me is in the this ME is in the counterclockwise direction. The assumed direction is not right. ME is in the opposite direction. So we can say that the magnitude of ME, the internal bending moment at the cross section at point E is 2400 pound feet and it is in the uh, counterclockwise direction. So VE magnitude is 200 pounds and it is in the downward direction. And ME magnitude is 2400 pound feet and it is in the uh, counterclockwise direction and the normal uh, internal loading at the cross section at E is equals to zero. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibler.